Hey there, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. And in this one, we're gonna be going over all of yesterday's trades that I took on phase two of the FTMO challenge. Let's go. Hey there, welcome back to the video. My name's Sergio and in this channel, I do a lot of trading reviews, tutorials, and I teach you tips and strategies so that you could be a consistently profitable trader. That sounds good. Go ahead and hit that red button down there and the bell so you get notified whenever I release new videos. There's gonna be links in the description of this video covering everything that I talk about. And also where you can reach me on other social media platforms as well as my free Telegram group where I send out trade signals daily. So check that out. So yesterday was a great day trading. Took about 16 trades and I ended up with a profit of $4,075 for the day. So we're slowly climbing up on this FTMO challenge. Uh, the first few days of this phase two, we were kind of uh, in between winning some trades and losing some, uh, but now we're, uh, we're back on a roll, slowly and steadily climbing back up. So we ended the day with a total balance on the account of about 206,191 and our target goal is 210,000. So we are more than halfway there. All right, so we're gonna jump into the computer now and review some of the trades taken yesterday. Let's go. So as you can see, uh, this was yesterday, October 5, profit of 4,075. And so here are all of the trades taken yesterday. I did take quite a few trades, 16 in total. Uh, it's the day with the most trades that I've taken. Uh, and it's because I started the day with a bad trade in the negative. So, uh, you know, I started taking consistently profitable wins uh, to make that back and eventually I did. So the first trade was this sell GBP USD trade and it was the main losing trade of the day. Um, so let me explain to you my reasoning to get into it. So I, I checked the market uh, and I was about over here, um, but I uh, did a little bit of technical analysis here. I saw that we were holding this level, strong level here of resistance and we broke above it, held it as support. Um, so then here is where I entered the trade. Um, you know, I, was, I did make a mistake because it wasn't enough confirmation. I thought that we we're gonna break below the level since we were coming back down to it. Um, and it did, but it didn't quite reach the target take profit and then it went in the other direction. Um, so I entered the trade here once I saw that we were holding this level up here as resistance and it came down. That's where I entered. I placed the stop loss up here um, and I went for a one to one. It got halfway there, but uh, it reversed in the other direction and took me out about over here. And as you can see, this trade was looking to stop everyone out because it even took out this high point here. So whoever put their stop loss up here, it even went through that as well. And then eventually came back down for the super long sell trade. Um, that I think I eventually uh, made my profit back on the way down. But uh, so this is the first trade. Let's go ahead and check out the next trade. Okay, so yeah, this is the trade right here where I made some money back. So it, it's also a GBP USD trade. So the second sell trade where I made some money back was about over here. Um, I placed the stop loss up here. I went for a one to one risk reward and I ended up winning this trade. And in this trade, I won uh, 1,750. I think I closed it. I didn't let it run all the way to the end. If not, I would have made all this money back. So that was my fault there. I closed it out early, but I ended up getting $1,750 back. So let's review another trade. This is the trade where I made uh, all my money back and then some. So this GBP JPY trade. Okay, so I entered this trade about here. Um, I placed the stop loss up here, went for a one-to-one -one risk reward. Um, and uh, just to check the charts here and see why I got into this trade. So, okay, there's a major level right here. As you can see, we hold it as support, then resistance, 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 boom, broke above it, broke below it, then resistance. And once I saw we were coming back down, that's where I entered the trade. I entered the trade with this confirmation, but I entered it on this candle since uh, to catch the pullback. Usually after, you know, candles like this, usually there's a pullback. Um, so I got into the trade about here, one to one risk reward, it got hit here, and this trade ended up profiting me $3,539. I placed a bunch more trades for the day. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and check out another good trade of the day. So I think it was this one, USD CAD. 
and this was a buy trade. <clears throat> <coughs> so for this USD CAD trade, I think I, I got in it about over here. Once I saw this confirmation that I just wanted to uh, keep going up, um, place the stop loss down here at this lower level. Go ahead and check out the chart to see why I entered this trade. Okay, so there's a huge level over here of support. There's also another one over here. And then there's another one over here. So, so, uh, so now we were, since we were going on an uptrend, I placed a buy order and I placed the buy order when I saw that it was holding this level as support. Um, and it was a higher high. So, uh, you know, I figured we were going to continue up. Um, I went for a one-to-one -one risk reward trade and the take profit did get hit. And this resulted in about $926. So there was a couple other trades here and there uh, taken throughout the day. Uh, those were the major trades uh, and the day ended up a profitable one. Um, so that's always a great thing in trading. So this is where we ended the day. Uh, we ended it at right here, uh, $6,191 total profit on the account. So tomorrow we, were, we will be going over all of the trades taken the following day. All right, everyone, so that's pretty much it for this video. Go ahead and destroy that like button if you're enjoying these trading videos. That lets me know uh, to keep making more. Go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what specific trading videos you want to see. And that's all for this one. I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, peace.